Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkjan Wiersma. I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands and perhaps you saw my video uh, last Saturday. Well, actually for me it's this Saturday, this, the, this Saturday and I'm a little bit tired. I will explain. Uh, if you saw that video, that unboxing video, you heard me say that I would, uh, was visiting the uh, very large orchid nursery in the Netherlands called Landsbergen or Landsbergen Orchids. Uh, so I did. So yeah, I was uh, very early on the road this morning. It was, for me at least, it was a, a half, half past five in the morning. Uh, so yeah, I went up around a half past four this morning. Uh, I like to have a little bit of time to uh, try to wake up, etc. Have a, have a cup of coffee and uh, try, uh, like I said, to wake up. But it's well worth it. It's a two and a half hour drive for me to get there. So obviously it's also a two and a half hour to return home. So five hours uh, driving. And uh, I like driving, but these long drives, it's not really my, uh, my thing, but so well worth it because uh, the, the orchids and the amount of orchids and the people that I've met, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's just uh, really, really a little vacation, something like that. It was just a beautiful day. And uh, like I said, well worth, uh, well worth it, the road, but it was quite a, kind of long. This time I went with a very good friend. Uh, so we had, uh, I had a ni very nice company uh, on the way to the nursery and uh, she likes orchids as well. And I think she's even subscribed. If she's not, I have to have a little talk with her. But uh, anyhow, I had a great day with you. I know you, uh, you uh, will watch this video. But um, so yeah, I went... Uh, for a visit on the open house again. And I will have some pictures to give a little bit of an impression there uh, while I'm talking about uh, this little trip. So um, I was aware, it was very warm in the greenhouse obviously, but outside it wasn't that warm. So I had my coat with me and I had to carry it on one arm. So I'd only had one arm free to take pictures with my phone. That didn't went very well. I obviously want, wanted, uh, didn't want to, uh, um, take too much attention, <laughs> having troubles making pictures, etc. So um, yeah, I did make a few pictures, but that was it. And to, to be honest, it's just so nice to hear these people, uh, the owners talk about their passion, uh, about their work, because it's not only their work, but they are really, really passionate about what they are doing. And it's just phenomenal to be there and just to listen and to learn and and to try to observe what you're seeing, because I thought they had thousands of plants. It turned out they have millions of plants. It's just incredible. The, the, rows, uh, the rows of plants, one row uh, is, is one table. Uh, and uh, yeah, you take one table and then you go way to the back. That were, uh, in some cases, were about 300, uh, 375,000 plants, just one row. And I think on your right hand side you had three roads, on your left hand side you had also three roads. So do the math. That was only one uh, greenhouse and they had I think six, seven, maybe eight of them. It's crazy. A lot of orchids. Some people like it and some people don't like it. Some people like the more specimen plants and uh, not the, the hybrids. I, I do like them all and I I uh, like to be there, and like I said, it's just, in, in probably in any case, if, if some people are so passionate about what they are doing, it's just nice to listen, and it's a, really a family business. So uh, yeah, I really took the time, and I, so therefore I wasn't focused on making too many uh, pictures. But um, I hope to make up in this video, because obviously I couldn't resist. I bought plants, uh, probably a few uh, too, too many, but I couldn't resist. The prices are crazy. They are so cheap because you, you buy them directly from the grower. And uh, yeah, that's noticeable when you have the end bill. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. So uh, um, I have quite a few of, uh, to show you. So I don't want to make this intro too long. I will uh, set up my camera. I have my backdrop ready and we will have a look, uh, close uh, look at the plants one by one. So here we go. So here is the uh, first plant that uh, I wanted to show. It's actually quite a funny, there's a little bit of a story behind it, but let me show you first the tag and it should be, uh, 
you should, uh, I'm sorry, you should recognize the, the name because uh, in my last unboxing, which was actually on the Saturday that, uh, that uh, when I was visiting, uh, visiting the uh, nursery, I also did get a Ancelia Africana. I tried to pronounce it right this time. But yeah, uh, that one I did uh, obviously get uh, through the mail and the man that was selling me that plant was also visiting the open house. So at a certain point, I saw this beautiful one um, for sale there. There weren't many. I think there were only three uh, of these guys. So I thought, well, I'm not sure. I, I did recently, I uh, did get obviously a, an Ancelia Africana, but which one? There was another one with more yellow in the leaves, in the, in the, in the blooms, I'm sorry. And uh, if I have a picture, I will show it to you guys so you know which one I'm talking about. But um, at that moment, at that very moment, I wasn't sure anymore. I, I, I knew that I, I had a feeling that I had that more yellow one, but yeah, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to ask the man. He's here, and I no, wasn't properly introduced to him. So, but I went over and I introduced myself, and I said, "Yeah, well, actually, yesterday I get, did receive your plans," and he was uh, a bit laughing, so it was kind of funny. But I said, um, <laughs> basically, which one did I order? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. But he he knows he, he obviously uh, did know which one he uh, sold to me. So he said, "Yeah, it, it's you're right. I uh, I sold you the more yellow one." So I said, well, I, I saw the darker one, this one, um, for sale. So I now know for sure that I can uh, bu buy this one so I don't have two the same uh, Ancelia Africanas. And he said, no, you can, uh, can happily buy this one but because you don't already uh, did get it from, at least from me. So that was kind of funny. Uh, so in, in just two days time, I uh, apparently have now two Ancelia Africanas. And actually I was, uh, watching these plants for about two years um, and I saw them on very small um, small sizes for sale and uh, in the middle of a while I will adjust the camera a little bit but uh, they were very expensive so I thought the, uh, I did uh, find the one that I did get from the seller through the mail but then on the open uh, open house they had uh, this one and this one I did receive on uh, my last unboxing video so this one is not in bloom, but um, that one was already big, but this one is even bigger. And that's why I did grab that one as well. So I will try to uh, get them in screen. So you have a little bit of an idea. Let me check how big these guys are. Look at that. So yeah, the ones that I saw for sale were probably this size. For uh, this one was a little bit more expensive. It, this one was 35. This one was half of 35. So it was 17, 17.50. So that was very cheap. And this one, I think uh, the ones that I saw, like I said, were about 40, 45. This one was 35. So it was a little bit cheaper, but the size, you guys, the size of the plant. And I don't know, maybe you see them for sale for this size. It's new for me. So uh, that's why I'm, uh, talking about it whoops let's try it to get it out of the pot because this one it's so large you guys you can see it has a beautiful root system and here you see that new growth is making a heck of a loot a lot of uh, new roots as well the ones that are already on there are making uh, are having uh, growing tips most of them are start growing again so yeah this is very beautiful I'm really happy with this one and um, so I need to uh, do a repair on this as well. This cane is broken but it's one of the oldest I think so it's not the end of the world at all. So yeah suddenly I have uh, two beautiful uh, sizes uh, Ancelia Africanas. Very happy with these guys. So let's uh, have a look at another one. The next one. And there was the next one. What a beauty, what a beautiful orange, almost rusty color. It's just beautiful, a little bit. It's not even yellow, it's, it's still, it's all orange, but some darker varieties here on the edge of the sepals and petals. A bit lighter in the middle with a bit of darker orange uh, on that lip again. 
and uh, yeah it's it's just beautiful and it has let me count very quickly at least four spikes with branches and it, it's beautiful I'm going to zoom out so we can see and it's very fairly large let me uh, zoom out first it's it's quite a uh, quite a beautiful plant as you can see can you see this one still yeah I think it's in frame sort of kind of <laughs> because it's that large you guys look at these spikes yeah it's hard to film them even but it they are so large and it's a beautiful plant itself do I yeah I need to adjust the camera a little bit because I'm reaching the ceiling <laughs> with the spikes but it looks very healthy and but I was yeah absolutely in love with the color it's so beautiful I have a similar one uh, from them from last year that was a little bit more darker red with uh, uh, yeah a little bit more rusty this one is a little bit more orange rusty colored probably this is almost the same or the same cross I don't know because they are very similar but the color is different and this one is yeah I just uh, wanted to have this. this this was probably 10 euros maybe maybe 12.50 so yeah what to do I thought I'm going to buy it if I regret it or if I get too many orchids I always can give it away but for that price I just just take it with me and we will see but it's so beautiful so yeah that is the second one that I found so there we are with uh, two plants in this uh, but actually a few more but um, yeah I don't want to make this a too long video so if I uh, put, it, uh, put a few more on the table but on the left, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's an Encyclia type. It was uh, next to the Encyclia Black Comet that I already have. But it, it's a beautiful yellow, very quite vibrant yellow um, blooms with uh, a more whiter lip. It, I don't, I'm not sure if that color does uh, show up because it's a little bit white with a bit some red. Let me, but yeah, you can see now the color inside of that lip and a beautiful yellow. It's even uh, uh, almost a bit shiny in the yellow, but very beautiful. I need to zoom out because you, I'm going to make you very dizzy. But yeah, I, probably some encyclia type. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter that much because I really like the plant itself. The bulbs are not that big, but I'm not very... Uh, well known on the encyclias uh, yet. I need to learn a little bit more about them. So probably this is uh, possible for an encyclia. Not sure. If you know, please let me know. But I will try to find it out before I uh, do a repot. Give this a sort of name name tag. It doesn't have a tag, so it will be a uh, no idea. So then we're moving on to a Masdevelia. And last time I did get an orange one and I couldn't find the yellow ones, if I remember correctly. But this time they were there, so I uh, did uh, take my chance and uh, got a uh, yellow one. Let me try to zoom in again. Uh, yeah, this is very uh, close to the original color, I think. Maybe a little bit more orange than you are currently see here now. but. This is the best I can do for now, but it's a very nice addition. And again, I think that first encyclia was about eight euros. This was six fifty, something like that. If I'm correct, I'm not sure, but at least very cheap. So, and then we have this one was twelve fifty. This is the Pinocchio, the Alba version. They had the uh, original uh, Pinocchio, Buffio Pelham Pinocchio as well. That one I did have, but it didn't survive in my care, <laughs> sadly. So it's a, but I thought, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to take both of them. But this one is a little bit more rare to find, in my opinion. So I thought, well, I'm going to start with the Alba. If that goes well, I probably will uh, someday will find the other, uh, the original uh, Pinocchio as well. But let's try to grow this on. And this one, I didn't see it in, the, in the, the greenhouse, but I did see it when it was home. And it's now on the back of the plant, of course. It has a new growth. Let me uh, turn it around quickly. So you can see what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's over there. And so that's something uh, we can work with, obviously. At first I thought, well, maybe I need to, to wait for, uh, for the repot, but now it has a new growth. If that starts to grow on really uh, well, I will probably do a repot. And these are sequential bloomers. 
I've been told, but I wasn't that lucky with them. But I uh, think I can see there a few new bots as well. So yeah, really looking forward uh, to growing this on. Uh, I'm really a, uh, in most cases, an Alba uh, uh, person. I really like the yellows, especially the yellows and the, the green. If I'm correct, the Alba should mean more white, but or colorless, something like that. But in most cases, it's more yellow and white combina combination on the flowers, I think. And I, uh, I really do uh, like that. So a next one, and this is a beauty as well. Let me go a little bit downwards so we can see the uh, beautiful petals and sepals on these. Let me zoom in a little bit because these nicely curved. As you can see, and that color, it's such a beautiful dark red color with a yellow lip. I have a similar argus, but this one was also very special. And again, not that expensive. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole bloom. So yeah, beautiful. I think it's very beautiful. And uh, yeah, like I said, not that expensive. So I probably really didn't, oops, I didn't need it that much, but it's so beautiful. So, and uh, let me show you quickly. It's a one bulb division or young plant. I think it's a division, but uh, anyhow, the bulb is looking very beautifully and I think it will be fine. I don't know how I do how they do it. I don't have luck with one bulbs and getting them to bloom. Somehow they managed to do this. But uh, so yeah, these are the next four new plants. And yes, I did buy more. So let's have a look at another uh, few plants. So this plant actually is uh, was bought in from a Swerter Orchid. It's on the other side of the tag. But this, as you can see, is a Phenoliopsis Stuartiana. And if I'm correct, I have the yellow version, uh, but I, this is a white, white with yellow version. So a little bit uh, different than the one I already have. This one, as you can see by now, is two in one pot. So I chose that one. <laughs> so I thought I had two plants and it's, it's currently in bud. So it's not spiking yet or blooming yet, I should say. I'm sorry, it's obviously spiking, um, but it's in bud. So we will have the buds soon to be open. But um, yeah, I think these look very healthy and uh, it should be a very nice, uh, nice bloom uh, as well on this plant. So, but that's for later on. So I did uh, buy one, uh, one family opsis. So next to it, it's uh, something special again. First, we start with those keikis hanging upside down on the left. I will uh, pot them up separately. It's a, a type of uh, epiden epidendrum. It's one of their own crosses and as you can see, it has fairly large leaves for an epidendrum and perhaps you can see, but uh, the blooms are, uh, I didn't have a white one and it's just uh, hanging over. So I now will go to the left of at least for me to the left. And there we have the blooms. They are not completely white. As you can see, there is some, uh, some yellow in the center and also some uh, pink. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Oops, that did go, go quite fast. Uh, whoops, <laughs> there we are. But yeah, I found this very one to be a very, uh, very beautiful again. And of course, a very reasonable price. I'm not sure about eight, maybe 10 euros, something like that. So yeah, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I took it with me and I'm happy I did because I, I really like the shape of this plant. It's very uh, quite, quite, larger um, leaves. Well, actually I have an epidendrum next to it, uh, several. Let's uh, take one so you can, uh, can see what I mean with the leaves. I be, uh, will be right back. So I quickly uh, did grab one of my epidendrums from out the greenhouse to make it hopefully a little bit more, it's a beautiful orange one uh, by the way, but uh, I hope you can see the leaves on mine are a little bit discolored discolors because of uh, several reasons. I will not go uh, into them today, but uh, it's blooming, it's doing well, but you probably now can see the difference in those leaves. How thin these uh, leaves look on my epidendrum. Well, actually they are both mine now, but my older uh, epidendrum, a bit darker, yes, but also very, uh, very th thin and not as big. 
So I thought uh, that's very interesting. It's uh, one of their own crushes, this white one in the back. And a beautiful leaf. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a try and uh, we shall see. But now uh, you can clearly see, like I said, the difference between the two, I think. So I put that one uh, back into the greenhouse. So we now go visit the one next to this beautiful epidendrum. And yes, this one came with arms. I have them in the greenhouse. I didn't have them in the orchid room. Now I do because I didn't notice, but it's not the end of the world. I will uh, deal with them later. But it's uh, obviously a beautiful Cattleya, also an own cross, but look at that beautiful hint of yellow and green on that lip. The, uh, this particular one wasn't, uh, I think the blooms are a little bit older in compared to the, the other ones that were around it. Let me zoom out a little bit. So the blooms may not be as spectacular as the other ones, but uh, you still can see that this white, it was a very pure white. And once again, with that green, yellowish, creamy color on the lip, I wasn't looking for Cattleyas because I bought quite some Cattleyas last year, but this one, this one just did catch my eye because of that color on that lip. I, there's something with white and yellow, yellow greenish combined that I most of the time, times get me completely <laughs> and I just couldn't resist. Once again, the price wasn't a problem. So I, I just took it and some aunts did uh, visit did uh, come, uh, come with it as well. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit because I took this plant because obviously I will try to think uh, forward, taking it home and I want to repot them as soon as possible. So you can see on the left, it's a beautiful new growth there. We have some uh, roots. I don't see growing tips on a moment, uh, on this uh, particular moment on them. But uh, right about there is a note as well. So hopefully that note will shoot as well. And you can obviously see it's outgrown this spot. All of them this because they were very happy where they were. <laughs> and uh, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to take the one with the uh, with the largest uh, new growth. Where is my here is that new growth. I don't know when it starts shooting out roots, but I at least thought this one is a little bit advantageous, has a little bit of advantage uh, compared to the rest of it. Those were a bit better blooming wise because like I said, they were a bit uh, fresh, more fresher those blooms. These were a little bit older, but I, uh, I thought, well, like I said, for the repot, I'm going to take this one. But once again, it's such a beauty. I hope my camera does, does this one justice because in, in real life that color on the lip, it's just not, I cannot describe it. I tried, I tried and I have a picture. Maybe it's, yeah, I think my camera does quite, quite well. Yeah, it's, I think this is it, the colors there. Look at those ants, they're a little, com little confused. Where, where are we, where are we? <laughs> well, I have ants here too. So you have to uh, take up a fight probably, but that's, their fight. I'm not going to interfere with that. I will put it now in the greenhouse and uh, they need to find their place. Not that I'm uh, a fan of the ants, but they are there. They're not eating the plants. Anyhow, uh, let's move on because we aren't there yet. I have a few, but that's the last set. I promise. <laughs> yes, yes, I was lucky again. I did find two beautiful Miltoniopsis that I didn't uh, already have in my collection. Because the ones that I have are currently uh, very uh, common. So uh, I, if I see a Miltoniopsis, I probably already have it. But sometimes you're lucky. And uh, today I was very lucky. Let's start uh, with the one on the left. Well, actually uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> the second one I will discuss a little bit later. But uh, firstly, look at the size of the blooms. The one on the right side, the more white yellowish one, is a more typical sized Miltoniopsis bloom if I compare them with uh, with my own that I already have. So yeah, the one on the left, those blooms are big. They are very, very big. Let's put my hand aside. Look at this. I think I never saw a Miltoniopsis with that large blooms before. So probably I think that's most of the cases has something to do with a 4M and something 
at least it has something extra probably that uh, that allows the plant to make these large blooms and uh, let me uh, zoom in but the pattern on this the colors it's beautiful and very large i have a few next to me i'm looking next to me with large blooms as well but this one is absolutely the largest that i uh, ever seen so far and there was only one of this one there were quite some Miltoni abscesses to, uh, like I said, most of them the ones that I already had, except for two. This was the first one, and uh, like I said, only one, so I was lucky to be there very early, and I could uh, take this uh, home with me. And uh, like you uh, probably know, uh, Miltoni abscesses are the orchids for me. If I really have to choose, I absolutely love them. So yeah, I'm so over the moon with these guys. So that brings me... Uh, almost automatically to the next one it's a creamy color it's not white well i have the her ex alexander here next to me that's more white so let's uh, do a comparison so we can see how if it really is that white i'm not sure if i'm in screen now i will adjust if necessary uh, necessary okay <laughs> i apologize um Oh, it's harsh, but there is a hint of yellow in that one. Bit, bit of green yellow. So you see the her, her Alexander. Uh, that is this one, obviously, if you didn't know, but it's the her Alexander. You will probably see it more. This is a very common one. This one I don't know the name of. Maybe one day I will, but you can see this one is that is more white. This is more creamy. Yeah, I think you can see it over here, this area. It's a little bit green, creamy. Almost like that Calais we just saw, but very similar. So yeah, this is probably the closest <laughs> to yellow that I ever can find in a Miltoniopsis. But I, I will not, I will take this one away. Um, whoops. Never stop uh, hoping, of course, because I have the last one in a minute. That one is very special as well. Anyhow, you saw how it go with the uh, Africanas. Uh, so I uh, will not give up and one day I probably will have a proper yellow one but this one is so close and once I had the same one but uh, that was back in the days when I didn't know uh, properly how to grow them. I was getting better at them but not good enough to save that one. So yeah I, that's probably over three years ago and again only one of this guy just waiting there for me I think. <laughs> So yeah, I was so happy, so, so happy that I found this one again, because it has that hint of yellow. It has a beautiful center. Um, it's just a beauty. So, yeah, so next to these guys, it's, it's beautiful. It's so, I'm so happy to have this in my collection again. And uh, the one on the left, actually, the, but the big, it does me remind me a little bit of the uh, Princess Diana, but I have the I think there are two varieties, maybe a few more. Maybe this is a cross with a Diana, but the two that I have now, I see them are uh, quite different. So it's probably another one. But if it's their own crosses, I probably never will know the, which cross it is, but that's okay. So uh, these were uh, two Miltoniopsis, or are two Miltoniopsis. Miltoniopsis that I found, and like I said, only one of them each. So I'm happy. Okay, so let's zoom out again. Now we have one. Uh, that's that's the last one actually can you believe it yes we're always there almost there but it's uh, not a miltoniopsis but a miltonia or at least a cross with it but i i, I think it's a uh, miltonia let me zoom in because this one needs to be zoomed in you guys this one has the three most favorite colors of me personally yellow white and dark red and I never ever saw something like this before in real life. I must admit, if I have the name, I will put it in the screen. One day, somewhere, I, th I probably think it was on the Facebook uh, group of Roger. Someone posted a Miltonia, Miltonia uh, that was uh, uh, yellow, sepals and petals, like this one. And it has a complete white lip. 
So I ask because I really enjoy uh, yellow and white combined together, as you uh, probably know by now in a bloom. So I ask, uh, where do you get it? Did you get it? What do you have a name? And uh, essentially, I did get a name because the person at that moment wasn't home, but I, he sent me a message later on and he gave me that name. So that name is on my wish list, of course. But it's a very, very rare orchid. Probably I will never ever find it. But this one is so close to that one. It's only the red color. If you take out the red, you probably have the same one, or at least it looks similar. It, it, it probably doesn't have the same parents or something like that, but it's color-wise uh, very, very close. So yeah, this one was very special. And the, the, my, a very good friend of mine who was uh, with me on this journey at this uh, open house, uh, found this actually and she said well look at this this is a beautiful one she had no idea what uh, she was talking about this is so i said uh-huh we're gonna grab this one I, I i need to have this one this is probably the best found for me personally at uh, this day you know how how i uh, am about my miltonia obsessions but this miltonia it's something special so what i did and i'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit um, so what I did, I, I thought, well, I can give it a go and I'm going to try to find a name or at least uh, after the, the growers there, the owners, like I said, it's a family business. So two brothers were there. One was doing the sales. One was uh, giving the tours and giving uh, 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 us lots of information on how they grow their plants, etc. But um, so, yeah, I uh, meanwhile, we have a spike here. I don't know if it shows up. Let me see. Yeah. And I'm lucky enough to have to get another one here. So in the meanwhile, but um, so yeah, I did ask. I said, yeah, well, yeah. I found this orchid, and I had a very, very experienced um, comment. I think I said to him, I think this is a Miltonia. <laughs> he said, Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Something very similar. I, it, it sounded so silly, but I was trying to get that conversation going. But anyhow, yeah, I said, yeah, this is obviously something uh, with Miltonia. So you saw that's right. Anyhow, um, so I asked, well, do you know which, how, how is this one called? Have you, uh, do you know? He said, no, I, 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 I have no idea. Probably uh, it, it may be even a, a very old cross. I, I, uh, maybe we did it here or it's way back in the days, I, I certainly have no idea. So you probably want to ask my brother, he, uh, he may ha can help you with this. So uh, I uh, did pay for this orchid and I did uh, uh, visit his uh, brother, obviously. I said, well, uh, look, I have a Miltonia here. Do you have a name or do you know, uh, is it your cross? Do you have uh, the names of the, the parents, etc.?" He looked at me, he said, did we have this one? And I was a little bit uh, getting nervous. I thought, oh my God, now he's going to say, um, I'm sorry, but we cannot sell this one. This is the only one we have, etc." But no, lucky, lucky enough, I didn't. Uh, he didn't. He said, uh, no, no, of sure, of course you can buy it. You already paid for it, no problem. But I didn't know we had this one. But I said, yeah, yeah, and I, I wanted it. He said, yeah, I understand why. <laughs> but uh, he said, no, sadly, I, I, I don't remember. I don't have the names. They have, like I said, million plans. Keep that in mind. So he said, I'm sorry, I, I don't have it. But ha he said, I think what happens is that we make our own crosses, obviously, there. As you know, he has uh, he had already told us that in uh, on the tour. But uh, so he said, yeah, probably this is one of our own crosses but it's some way not good enough. We, the man that is uh, giving the judgment, the last calls on it, which one go for uh, the production, into the production and which ones doesn't. Um, he probably thought this, the, the spike was too short because the blooms are beautiful. Maybe he didn't find the blooms as beautiful, but probably maybe this one doesn't give uh, long enough spikes, something like that. He, has, he said, that's the only, I'm not sure, but that's the only thing I can think of why you did find this orchid today. So if that is the case, and I think it is, it's, it's yeah, I could understand that that would uh, be happening. Uh, that is a own cross of them. Then it's also a very unique orchid. I, you, I will probably never find it again. Or someone else perhaps does make the same cross that they did that day when this one uh, did exist. But then again, if it was from a seedling, uh, the chances are that the other did uh, give 
different colors in the blooms uh, is very high as well, of course. So you never know. But anyhow, this one is very special. But I thought, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys this because then you know why this one is, is so unique to me. It's such a beauty. So yeah, that was a, a beautiful story. Sometimes you're just lucky. And these three, all of them, all of them, only one of them there. And uh, we were just able to buy them. So it's, I'm happy. Tired, yes, but happy. <laughs> so let's uh, put them inside of the greenhouse and uh, we will have a last look at all of them. The uh, new Miltonia, Miltonia obsesses are uh, standing here just in front of the van and um, here is the van actually and it, it, there's more humidity here and the temperature is obviously better so I have that one I uh, recently did bought also a new one and these beauties but you can see that one is also very large bloom wise but that one is even bigger it's just crazy beautiful both of them this one is fairly large as well don't get me wrong but you can see probably that this one is absolutely a bit bigger <laughs> Quite a bit in real, oh, quite a bit, yeah, it's large. Anyhow, let's move on. I'm getting tired and I can't start rambling a little bit when I'm tired, I apologize. <laughs> Especially when I'm very happy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I did put uh, now my orchids uh, here, the ones that will uh, be grown on in the greenhouse uh, anyhow. But because of this one, the Cattleya has the arms on it. So yeah, let them, uh, find their way in here in the greenhouse and not in my orchid room but yeah and these uh, ep epidendrums my own ones beautiful very nice display of colors there of course and now i have this beautiful almost white edition again or not again it's the first time but i knew uh, addition to them so yeah i have some repots to do i probably will film some I had a little thought about the guy, the Africanus. Like I said in my previous video, I will uh, put them up there, but I need to uh, lower the shelf. So I probably will remove my Telomnias, take that shelf off so I have more space because otherwise they will touch in the roof. But um, I will probably do that uh, tomorrow. Uh, this was quite a day, as you can imagine, and I was so excited. Uh, so I just wanted to film this and share this with you guys. You are my uh, Orchid family, of course. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much if you did, if you made it to until the end. Um, yeah, it's a very, uh, very special video. So um, once again, I hope you liked it. And uh, really thank you for watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And for now, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. So bye-bye. <laughs>